Hello, everybody. It's a late night edition of streaming. I haven't done this in forever. But I'm on vacation. I was in the mood. Why not? So, what you're seeing here is, well, I got a Super Nintendo. Like, I got tired of uh, waiting for Analog to get theirs back in stock. And when they did, they sold them to a bunch of scalpers. So, if you're a scalper, fuck you. That's all I got to say. I was like, fuck it. I'll just buy an old Super Nintendo. I got some cartridges. And the, the one I bought off eBay had cartridges with it as well, including another Super Game Boy, which I already had. And I have another, and I have a, a Super Game Boy 2 on the way from Japan. There is a difference. It's all about clock speed and stuff. Why, hello, Hasani. How are you doing? But uh, more on that some other time. Uh, so, how do I show off my Super Nintendo to the world? I, I, I play Super Game Boy through an, uh, uh, with an EverDrive. <laughs> I do have an EverDrive for the Super Nintendo also, as well as, you know, like actual cartridges. But I was really in a mood to do something a little different. So, through this uh, uh, very simplistic looking EverDrive screen, uh, this is for uh, Link's Awakening, a run I was just messing with earlier. The sprites are all messed up. I don't know if I turned on a setting or what. But uh, we will do this, Pokemon Red Rando. So this is a little special. Now you've seen plenty of randomizer runs before, and you've seen plenty of challenge runs. What I'm doing is like nothing unique, most likely. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a three Pokemon challenge. Basically, I can pick one of the three starters, and then the first two, a I... sorry, and the first two uh, Pokemon I come across out in the wild. Uh, those are the ones I have to catch and keep. If I don't catch them first try, it's fine. It's 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 whatever. But it's whatever t two unique Pokemon I see first out in the wild. Unless it's like, you know, I didn't think about that. Like, what if there's like, Weeping Bell and Victory Bell are the first two I see. Okay, we'll just say that if they're evolutions of the same Pokemon or whatever, it doesn't count. Well, that's, that's the problem with these big publishers nowadays. Some are worse than others, but... A game can't just sell well, so it needs to be a super mega hit with a high... Uh, Metacritic, or it's just considered a failure, which is fucking stupid. But anyway, I'm doing red version because, well, I don't really have a good reason, other than, well, one, I wish I was playing blue because I, I prefer the blue Super Game Boy border, but aside from that, uh, text speed fast, yeah, that's fine. Wait, does it? Okay, just, okay, I get it. But I've never actually gone through red, which I know is pretty much the same thing as blue, and for the randomizer, it really doesn't matter. But it's just like, whatever. We don't care about the text. I'm not, we're not here for the story. This is just a rando run. So, showing off Dodria, which is something it doesn't normally show off. At least I don't think so in this version. What is your name? Uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just go with the canon names. Sure. Why not? I can't think of anything funny anyway. Right, well, hmm. I do have Replicate Bot. It's actually sitting on my shelf right now. I'll just go with red. Whatever. This is the canon game. Here goes. He's your. He's a dick. He's blue. So while I greatly uh, prefer playing stuff on actual hardware, there is a small problem. I can't fast forward. Right, I was playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. It's really funny because in your starting rooms in uh, other Pokemon games, it's like, oh, you're playing a GameCube, a Wii. You know. I'm sure there was one where it was a Wii U. Like, no, nobody's playing that. <laughs> Unless they're playing Mario Maker. Oh yeah, there's a different starting item in the PC. 
Nice! <laughs> there was a special setting just to change uh, what's in the, the PC at the start. Is it eh, randomized to something useful? That seems really bright. I don't know. Yeah, it's not, okay. There we go. That's a quick way to change the palette. Should we just go with this palette? I mean, this one is hard to look at. This one's way easier to look at. Uh, what's the setting? Oh, it's, it's both buttons. Uh, that was not horrible. Uh, they do, as a matter of fact. Sword and Shield, uh, your starting room has a switch in it. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong house. Where the hell is the lab? It's been forever since I've done this. Oh, do I have to... That's right, I have to try and leave town, don't I? I think. Don't go out! Ah! There's wild Pokemon on the grass. I don't know how you're going to defend yourself. Wait a minute. I know just the solution. I'm going to give you a dangerous animal. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Okay. So, this is one of the, th the, the three we're, we're allowed to have. Now, I've randomized the starters. So I have to choose one of these, but the next two I don't pick. It's just whatever I, two I see first. Ooh, there's a Kadabra. A Snorlax? And a Growlithe. Hmm. Growlithe is cool, but it's the least appealing of the two. Uh, oh boy. Man, the brain is saying Kadabra. Heart says Snorlax. Uh, I know what my brother would pick. Um, hmm. <laughs> Sleep or brain. <laughs> I mean... Uh, is it only going to have teleport start? Ooh, I should... Save. Smart choice is probably Kadabra. As much as it would be awesome to have, start off with a Snorlax. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna roll a dice because I know my brother would pick Kadabra. It's not he's saying Snorlax, and it's hard for me to decide. So, in true randomizer fashion, I'm gonna roll a dice. One through three, it's Kadabra. Four through six, it is Snorlax. Here we go. Kadabra wins. Now it it better not just have just a t just 
teleport. And they are getting a name. This one's Mo. No, he's taking Snorlax. Okay, what does it have? Okay, it does have an attack to begin with. Good. I was afraid it was going to be just have teleport. Alright, don't leave. Bye. He might beat me. First go. So every time I fight this fucker, I'm going to have to think of about what could, what could have been. Do you have any special attack powers, dude? You fucker! I guess it controls his special defense also. Hit yourself, you fucker! Oh god! <laughs> of course he criticaled! Uh. Snorlax is pretty strong, and Kadabra is really weak physically. Uh, we're off to a piss poor start. Okay, he's fine. High speed, high special. So, uh, the, the Abracadabra Alakazam line is known for being glass cannons. Super fast, incredibly high special attack power, but boy, they have nothing physically. Um, you know what? I don't know if I like this, this one either. Do we try the other ones? This is fine. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Now that we're done embarrassing ourselves. Okay, so... We don't have any Pokeballs yet, but... We'll be coming back to catch a, a Jolteon. And I made it so that... Uh, like, there's not 20 different spawns in one area. Right? Or, or po Well, actually, possibly, like, 150 different spawns. It's basically like... This first area has Pidgeys and Raditas... So it would just take two random Pokemon and replace those two. That's it, so... We'll come back, catch... Catch a Jolteon. Do you have the free item? There's a potion. That might be a little hard to tell, but uh, the music's a little bit off on the Super Game Boy. I never really noticed it as a kid, but when I heard side-by-side uh, -side comparisons on YouTube, it made me realize, holy crap, the music is kind of off. And now that I've uh, heard the comparison, I can't unhear it. Don't have to go back to Oak. Whoops. Oh, crap, what was I saying? Oh, um, 
So the Super Game Boy 2, or rather I should say the Super Game Boy is actually overclocked a little bit. Wait, where was I supposed to go again? Anyway, the Super Game Boy overclocks um, the Game Boy speed by like 2.4% or something like that. Oh, so you have to go to the Mart. Right. Thank you. Okay, from Pallet Town? Sure. And then you take it to him, you get to Dex. And then you come back through, you learn how to catch Pokemon. Yeah. So yeah, the Super Game Boy overclocks just a little bit. It doesn't seem like a big percentage, but it's enough to make the gameplay a tiny bit faster, and it throws off the music, making it a little bit uh, higher pitched. Okay! Dragonite is the other thing we'll be catching. Sure, why not? What a team. Why is everything a thunder wave? Or thunder, I should just say. Oh, you fucker. Uh-oh. You're getting big fat XP from this. Oh, shit. Prepare yourself to get wrecked. Actually, I'm going to run. Because I don't want to get so strong that I, that I uh, can't catch them. So anyway, that's the problem with the Super Game Boy. Um, it's the, it's the same for the the PAL Super Game Boy and the the, the Jap Japanese NTSD uh, NTSC. I have to go get a town map, don't I? Unlock? No. Where's this dick's house? Yeah, all, all the Super Game Boys are the same. When it comes to that, except for the Super Game Boy 2, which, re which was released well past the Super Nintendo's Prime. And what it does is it clocks the Super Game Boy per, uh, correctly, so that it runs at the same speed that a a, uh, a normal Game Boy run at. Thank you, Blue Sister. Don't really need it, but whatever. Now, I didn't make it so that Pokemon were incredibly easy to catch. So I might not even have to worry about hit, uh, hurting them. I turned on that setting because it's like, I don't need to catch many, so... Eh, might as well. I also turned on uh, full HM compatibility. Which means that any Pokemon can learn any of the HM moves. You know, Cut, Strength, Flash, Surf, uh, Fly. And the only thing I've given myself is the ability to, to take along a couple of the Pokemon that can just learn the HM moves. I don't have to put them on uh, mine. Because the problem with uh, HMs in earlier gens is that you can't... Um, 
you can't erase HM moves. Do you give me Pokeballs? I forget. Look, there's just a Goldeen just hanging out in the grass. Oh, well, that's it. Pfft, fine. Okay, I have no Pokeballs, so I need to buy some. Probably all we need. See if we can catch him without, uh... I forgot there's nothing over there. See if we can catch him without damaging him. Well, this is not going to afford to hurt, hurt a little bit. Hold up and be, everybody! <laughs> that, that was a, a tip I heard a long time ago that, that doesn't actually work. See me rare seen marine po Pokemon. It's intelligence said to match that of humans. This is, uh... Yeah, we gotta give him a nickname. This is Larry. Oh wait, what am I doing? I need to catch the other one. There you are, buddy. Ah, eh, three will do. I guess we should damage him a little bit. Okay. Up and B. It accumulates negative ions in the atmosphere to blast out 10,000 volt lightning bolts. And you are Curly. Now, we will catch two other Pokemon just to be our HM slaves. But for the rest of the game... Oops. Now, for the rest of the game, these are our Pokemon. Uh, Kadabra will eventually become Alakazam. Which, uh, by the way, I, I turned off the thing where you need uh, uh, need to trade certain Pokemon. So we don't. If we if we had uh, Graveler, we wouldn't have to trade to get Golem. Uh, ditto for uh, for Kadabra to Alakazam. Try to remember them all. Haunter to Gengar, and uh, what's the other one? Is it Choke the Champ? I forget. Anyway. We need to go grind a little bit to get these guys up. Just a little bit. Oh, wait. Man, where's Victory Road? Always past the forest, isn't it? No, wait, no, we get into a trainer fight if we go that way. I think?
Okay, never mind. I, I thought I thought blue showed up anyway for like an early fight here. Hmm, we could have got a Butterfree if we went over here first. It's super effective! Oof! You're mine, Butterfree! In Battle of Vita Baba, nobody cares because this is one of the HM slaves. This is. Shemp. What else can we find over here? We need one more HM slave. Surely, uh, sure, Polywag, why not? Oh, you dork! Very late. I was in a mood, so I was like, and I'm on vacation, so, eh, why not? And this is... Joe. I can't remember if his name has an E at the end or if it's just J-O, but we'll just go with Joe. There we go. So there we go, we have all the Stooges. We're not going to have Curly Mark II. Let's <laughs> so get healed up and then we can go over there and uh, grind a bit. Uh, uh, yeah, grind a bit. Twelve hours. The problem is, I'm gonna be uh, probably be asleep by then. I mean, we'll see because I am on. Well, no, I have to wake up early. Shit. Um, we're gonna go with no for now, but we'll see. I don't need the money for anything else right now. So, oh, wait, you know, you sell potions. What the fuck is this place? We'll bust an antidote, so... And some paralyzed heals. Now any other Pokeballs we get, we can just sell. I know, I really want to, though. Like, probably any other day, I'd probably be okay. You know, that would be pretty late for me, but... Still. Since the two things here are weak against uh, electric, this is a great place to get jolty on a few levels. So this part will be a little bit boring, a little bit boring, but there shouldn't be much grinding in this game because we only have three Pokemon to take care of. We're not leveling the other two; they're just there for HMs. Faster than Jolteon, you're a little pudgy thing. Paralyze, please. Oh. Now we're fine. It's probably gonna level off of this anyway. I don't think I turned on uh, increased XP or anything. Jolteon's not very physical either. Oh, I'm a chop, huh? Oh! The sand attack also did, uh, damage also. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of, uh, of, uh, Mud Slap. Level 5 is a good start. 
Ah, I keep thinking that's the... Wait a minute, isn't there... Hmm. Damn. I thought there was a way you could change this up to... So X could be start button also. That'd be nice. We can go into the forest with uh, level 5, that's fine. Now let's see if we can't get Larry a little bit of XP. Oh wow, three episodes, huh? I love Front Mission 3. But boy, oh boy, what a long game. Okay, wrap, agility. It's weird that agility's psychic in this one. Agility... I was thinking Agility was Attack. Am I thinking of something else with the same name? I'm thinking of Swift Attack, or Swift, whatever. So I don't really have an attack, then. Hmm, we need an attack. How's it going, dude? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to use rap. I don't really have a choice. Yeah, you first get Dragonite's. Uh, uh, yeah, Dragonite's. Oh boy, I've got a winner here. It turns out he's got a lot of shitty moves. We need a TM for you as soon as possible, my dude. Oh, that sounds fun. Did you have a good time? Using Raptor Wind sucks. <laughs> you need another level, my dude, or something. I would kill for tackle. I never thought I'd say that. That's cool. Right on. Yeah. I mean, it's effective, it's just like, eh, I had to press the button so many times. And get this! I'm playing on actual hardware, so I can't fast forward! Gasp! Shock! Horror! Uh-oh. <laughs> the bus is going to survive. That's probably a good idea, honestly. Well, there is a little six. Okay, let's go get healed and get through the forest. I should at least give both of them some survivability. It's a bit of a shame, though, because Joel Chunk is staying to beat those guys up a little bit longer. I'm sorry, dude. That sucks. and I, I know how that feels. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's not the forest quite yet. A little path first. 
What's in the... Mm. You guys need XP. Get out of here. Oh, wait, Larry could have stayed out, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter what's there. You know what? We're going to keep going on. I don't suppose you have anything. It's a natural maze! Oi! <laughs> you do have a lot of names, that's why. I, 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 even I get confused sometimes. My, my boys are here to do Pokemon fights. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> just carp just flopping around in the grass, why not? Too bad shit for XP. Ooh, a nugget. Cool. All the items are randomized, too. So, yeah. Huh. Electabuzz, huh? Well. Thundershock's not gonna really work. So. Well, that sucks. You know, maybe I should just try it anyway. That's about as effective as I thought it'd be. If he hits me again, it's gonna hurt. Ow! Well, this is a lot of XP. Ouch. Can we some magic carps instead? You know what? That might be acceptable. Oh shit. Get out of here, Larry. I don't need this piece of shit beating on my poor Jolteon. He had it coming. He was asking for it. Alright, yeah, Pokeballs against Pokemon War. I don't need no fucking Pokeballs anymore. Eh. That's a good thing. I can just sell all them now. That I find. Ghost Rider wants to fight. Oh, okay. I had him change the names just randomly. So this is Water and Rock. I forget how that works for the... Oh, shit. You're still asleep, seriously? <laughs> Jolteon. Please. Jolteon, please. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Your defense is going too high, sir. Okay, it does work. I wasn't sure if the rock part overrode it. I always forget how it works when it comes to type conflicts. Ooh, that's a big ol'. I, I was hoping it was gonna be a lot of experience, so I, I figured it was worth coughing up a potion. Growlithe, huh? Step up to the plate, Larry.
I thought Rock was also immune to electric. I clearly don't know my Poke Pokemon as well as I should. Although, to be fair, I haven't played many gens of it. I have many gens of it, I just haven't played them. Like, I played Gen 1, Gen 2, and then I got a bunch of the other ones but didn't play them much until I got to, uh, Sword. I played all the way through that one. No, cut me, can't cut it, shut up. Give me your money, bitch. Get your man if you're a Pokemon trainer. Oh, that's good enough for me. Thanks. Wow, it's actually got to eradicate. You're faster than me. How dare you? Just got a mash. Ouch. This Radicate is kicking the shit out of me. Put the squeeze on. Big XP. Wasn't wasn't expecting that much. You seal. Yes. Let's throw a uh, curly back in. I love seal. Used to have a beanie baby of it. I should still do somewhere. And Snorlax. Take that, fucker. Doug Trio, huh? Well, we don't definitely don't want to use, use you. You're considered flying, right? I don't even know if they, have di if they would have Dig yet at this point, but I'm not taking a chance. Aha! So I knew he was at least part dragon. I couldn't remember if it was other type was water from, you know, when you normally catch them, or if it just comes flying later. Turns out it's just dragging and then it becomes flying later. I don't know why it's a ghost rider, but whatever. Not my randomizer. Well, at least I didn't make it. Bo's gotta come out to play for a little bit. Awakening. I probably shouldn't linger around too long in here. What's this even say? <laughs> Sounds like my sound chip's dying or something. Why are you so quick? You guys said no, quick attack always goes first. Look how he holds up his spoon like he's saying, aha! It's always a 
crit when it happens to me. Boo. Wait, where's the exit? Wait, was the exit over there? Shit. <laughs> Five, eh? You stop that. Cool. Stand, stand low. For now. Maybe the reason I'm thinking that Rock um, isn't at least somewhat susceptible to electric is because of uh, like at least in Gen 1 like just about all the Rock Pokemon are still ground type anyway. That's probably what I'm why I'm thinking that. Oh. <laughs> Snorlax! Nate, now this game's fucking with me. Go fight this thing. Okay, that's why I'm thinking that then. That makes sense. Squeeze the life out of this fat fucker. Big old chunk of XP. Okay, we need to get our boy uh, Curly some XP. Do you have anything for me? Okay, who gives you what? It's been so long since I played Gen 1. What's out here? Before we go into town. Oh, hello there! You're strong as electric. I think. No, I'm not this bullshit. It's only cool when I you when I do it. Yeah, dra dragon is, is strong. It's uh, it's fire, water, thunder. Weakness, ISO. I heard that, Bob. Bless you. Okay, so the gym is here. Do we have... Does this shop actually have potions? Wait, no, it's not this... Wait. No, what am I thinking? No, I don't. No, this is the right area. For, uh... Wait, is it? Ah, oh, potions are 300? Ugh. Oh yeah, I can sell this. Lovely. 
Okay, we're gonna buy an escape rope. Ten potions. Alrighty. Where's the goddamn gym? Oh, there it is. Peter City Pokemon Gym. Leader Brock. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. Whatever. It's the previous city that had uh, the eighth gym. Um, actually, I'm not even, I don't even think they're guaranteed to have uh, rock types. So. Did I save? I should save again just in case. Beat them all up now before I beat up the gym trainer. Preschooler. <laughs> What's a preschooler do doing hanging out in the gym as like one of the guards? Oh, that's right. That's a thing. I'm gonna keep kicking sand in your face. What the fuck? Of course you still hit. So there's like a five-year-old that's serving as Brock's guard? What the hell? So this, is, this shouldn't really work then. Yeah. Why? Oh boy, what do you get to go do? Fuck out of here, Porygon. Piece of shit. About to use execute. Uh, it's grass and psychic. So, <laughs> well, when in doubt, just wrap it to death, I guess. Oh, okay, I see. Well, it doesn't sound particularly fun, but hopefully it goes okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. This is, it's one of those rare times when bugs when bug is, a, is freaking awesome. Because usually bug is just kind of meh. It's just there. Like, beyond Psychic and Grass, I couldn't tell you what a uh, bug is good against. <laughs> Defeat the preschooler! Now we're just gonna put the boots to him and take his money. Oh, that's right, yeah, it's good against poison. I'm Brock. I'm British as shit. Okay, what does this doofus have? He's gonna have like a level 12 and a level 14, I think? Drowsy, huh?
Get paralyzed, come on. Nah. This is a fucking critical. Stop that. Put the boost to a medium size. <laughs> what was that from? Like, I, I, I know I've seen it before, but I'm drawing a blank on what it's from. Put the boost to Medium size. Wiggly tough, huh? <laughs> Look at this thing! <coughs> Middle Aquas, that's right. Confused, you fucking weirdo. Oh, crap. No, fuck you, sack of shit. Oh, he's barely alive. There we go, big old chunk of eggs. I was hoping to give it the mow, but oh well. <coughs> I took you for granted. This motherfucker had a wiggly tough and a goddamn. What was the first thing I killed? Drowsy. Wait, no, wait, was it? No, whatever. Take this with you. Now the TMs are all. Um, randomized, so... So it actually contains Nightshade, huh? Hmm, can be learned by anybody, huh? Hmm. Here he's got friendly move. <laughs> uh, who should I give Nightshade to? Wait, is Nightshade... Is Nightshade Ghost? Or is it Psychic? Does fixed damage. Hmm. Well, it's either going to be Mo or Larry. I'll give it a think. Well, I'm running back to the poke place. <laughs> Right then. 
Same damage as your current level. Well, that's not great. Uh, I mean, then again, I guess it can't be resisted. Well, no, I, I, I keep doing that. You know, I'll give it to Larry. I'm less likely to use agility. Yeah, Jagger. I very rarely keep. Uh, buffs. I'm more likely to keep debuffs. Okay, time to get out of here. Except I'm not going the right way. Oh wait, I know it. That's the route to the the right. I actually don't know what that is, but even if I did, I wouldn't use glitches. At least not knowingly. Okay, Mo is actually falling behind, so we need to get him boosted. Look at me, didn't you? It's gonna be a preschool or something, isn't it? It's gonna be like, oh god. Lazy. <laughs> Geo dude, huh? Uh, well, this should still work, okay. Ooh, almost smoked in one hit. And this is why we go with Kadabra. Zapdos? Hmm. No, well, we don't want to use Larry. I mean, it'd be like normal for him because he's flying, but he's it's a dragon. Uh. No, I guess just stay in. Ow! Ooh, that's lovely. Fuck you, lazy. Okay, let's switch you out for Larry. How much you in for Ian Forest? I bet you're still over there. After this uh, video, we should, or after this battle, we should probably go ahead and make a new vid. I mean, it's there. Put the squeeze on him. There we go, big chunks of XP. To use Charmander, huh? Uh, we sh we should stay as Larry. Yeah, just wrap. <laughs> it sucks having to like mash the button, but. Rap is fu is you know effective, especially if you're faster. It's very cheap. Nidor and male. What do we have that's good against poison? 
Nothing. Yeah, could you briefly explain to me what the agility badge boost glitch is? Because I honestly don't know about that one. Uh, no, there you can I don't get poisoned. Why couldn't one of my three been a Nitto King? That would have been nice. Nitto King's my favorite Pokemon. You beat me again! Oh wait, I forgot to cut off the video. I like shorts! Swimmer female, huh? Huh. Well. Sure. Everything is good against the plant. Man. Our ability to, to take advantage of, uh... Wait a minute. Is poison weak against psychic? Yeah, I'm thinking of something else, I think. Poison is weak to psychic. Well, I'm damned. Whoops the doodle. Voltorb. Uh, my dude, you might as well stay in. <coughs> Nothing's gonna be terribly effective against him. I mean, this works fine, but, you know. What I mean is, we don't have anything that's, like, strong against him. Plus, I have a thing turned on for the randomizer, where it does uh, uh, updated uh, uh, type weaknesses and strengths or whatever from later gens. Take that, swimmer female piece of shit. Okay, seriously. Alright, alright, alright. Okay then. Cutting it off, we'll start be, be starting a new video in just a sec.